What's up Rich Marcetes and welcome to another live. Today we will talk about good habits and bad habits. So I have this splendid view over here I wanted to share with you and this time we are in the beautiful city of Dubai. So uh, why is it important to know the difference between the good habits and the bad habits is because um, sometimes you can mix them. So basically what we are doing right now at the moment it will be biased by our subconscious mind in order to trick us to think that that is a good habit. So let me give you an example for the, the, the plainest example that I can give you is let's say I go and uh, two times a week, once uh, Tuesday and once on Saturday I go out with my boys and uh, we had some party and we go and we whatever, we, it doesn't necessarily need to come in the, uh, the alcohol but you understand what I'm saying just spending time talking about uh, random shit with my guys and so on so you understand the idea and why I'm telling you this is because in that particular time when you're doing that a hundred percent of the time your mind will trick you in thinking that is a good habit and you will want it even more because the dopamine will be connected to that event and automatically it will say to you like go have more fun with your guys go and spend more time with those guys but at the end of the day what I always teach you and what I always tell you is that what I do with myself I'm trying to look at my actions in the objective way how so basically I take this action that I just told you I look at it and I try to play in my mind with the outcomes of the habit itself of the action itself and I say okay if I do this two times a week with my guys Although I respect them, love them, whatever. Does this bring me, at the end of the day, closer towards my goal? Or it has no impact or it takes me further away from my goal? Objectively. What does it mean? So, for example, if in my group I have only like people that go to work, uh, it, it's not a bad thing. It's not a bad thing. 97% of the people do this. I did this because in order to get to some place, you need to generate some cash. So basically, I also did this, but I had a plan. As I told you before in other videos, we always had a plan. We wanted to come here. We wanted to have this lifestyle. We wanted to be entrepreneurs. We wanted to be different. We wanted to impact other people. It was a plan in the, even from the beginning. And we haven't said it because I wanted you to, to I wanted for you to be a um, uh, to move you guys to, to be an impact for you because you basically can track down all the actions that we me my brother rich mindset uh, did until uh, 2014 at least 2014 because we had the channel that was closed but at least from 2014 you can see every single thing you can see where we had no money where we hustled like motherfuckers we had nothing to eat you can see all these things and you can backtrack your life towards and put it in, in a balance towards the thing that we did and understand why some people have a different outcome is because of their action, understanding objectively their action towards what it leads. Because in the end of the day, if you want it or not, the same thing happened to me. If I would have gone to that circle, as I told you, with the working people, then automatically I copy their results. Because in their mind can be only people with no plan, right? It can be only like, where we go and we fuck us up uh, the next week, where we spend more time and we destroy our future next week. Uh, well, you saw this girl or you saw that man and look at him, he's, uh, he's uh, the, trying to tell me that he made it but look, he comes from a family this or a family that. From our side it's simple, we had no family. We had no uh, rich father, rich mother and so on, so basically you can backtrack that as well because everything that we are is in the online. So this is the difference because a good habit and a bad habit. But the idea is that, and the good part is that the successful people, the only thing that makes the successful success, only that I've seen until now, is that although their actions can, can look the same, be the same uh, as yours, as mine's, or a hundred percent their mind when they do it, the, purpose when they did it was different and a hundred percent of the time if that worked for them they did or they tried to do uh, to create from uh, uh, a normal action 
in a good habit because what gives you more results then automatically you need to um, make it more and more and with more intensity so this is how you do it uh, just to give you the an example in your life just to understand for example is when i started to uh, understand where i'm going towards because i was really young i couldn't understand i'm 35 now imagine 10 years ago i i was in your situation i didn't know where to go so what i did is i started to um, to to follow to uh, read about uh, and to, to I, I was basically stalking all the, uh, the the rich people in the world i wanted to know how they act not to duplicate their business but i wanted to know how they act so this is what i did and then um, uh, looking uh, back i did the amazing thing this is why yesterday we had the action where we were in uh, romania in the middle of the in the middle of the of bucharest and we tried to uh, basically in middle of bucharest try to uh, ask people if they know these two not any successful people but they were the two from the three most successful people in romania and unfortunately only one from 20 new and that's sad because if you don't follow this kind of people and if you don't try to uh, copy their habits you will not do it so as i said when i started what i did i looked what they did i heard one per uh, person successful person saying that he reads a lot of books warren buffett and then i've heard other people saying that they read a lot of books like a lot of people everybody everybody that's successful is a lot of people, uh, a lot of books i was reading books i said like what the fuck is this so what i what i was doing then i forced myself into a habit where reading these books i could implement new actions day to day in my own life do you think that that then the life changed immediately no a hundred percent no but slowly and working towards the chiseling every single day chiseling towards it every single day with the high intensity as it was the last day as i told you because it is the last day is the only day that we have basically we got to that point where we could say that uh, we are today and i can backtrack your uh, uh, backtrack for you right now the success or the mindset that brought me towards the success in those books 10 years later this is how it works guys this is how it works this is how it is if you understand it you have already won because the decision the the, the the being a winner or a loser it's only a decision so see you on the other side of the comfort zone because it's freaking awesome look at the view guys it's amazing everywhere i go it's the same view nice colors nice sun nice weather nice uh, uh, clothing everything is nice so as i told you see you on the comfort zone it's freaking awesome you over here Come join because there is plenty for everybody. So. Welcome everybody. We just trying to have some fun, so welcome to.